What's up, everybody? It's Tom here with Michael Duplato, one of the minds behind the recently announced Shadow of War. Hello. How's it feeling after the announce? It's feeling fantastic. Reaction's been a, just great. I mean, it's excellent to be able to talk about the game now, so just good all around. It's been roughly two years, you say? We were just speaking about it. Yeah, so it was the end of 2014, so we've been flat out on this game ever since then. It's amazing. It looks awesome. It looks so good. The story set um, just straight after Shadow of Mordor, in between our beloved Hobbit and Lord of the Rings. What's the what's Mordor facing right now? The ever in turmoil city that it is. So uh, a few things have happened. Um, Sauron's grown in power. Uh, the Nazgul have returned. The Nazgul have grown in power. His armies are massive, and they've actually come out beyond Mordor, and they've got the Gondorian city of Minas Ithil under siege. So we we actually start with this big, epic siege of this human city, and uh, working together with those characters, fighting alongside the Gondorian army against the forces of Sauron. We saw in the, our preview that uh, the Bright Lord, T Talion and Kalim becoming the Bright Lord is sort of the main aim of the game. That was a, an expansion for the first game, if I'm yep. not remembering correctly. What's the situation there? What's the story behind that? So, uh, Kalim has who forged the original Rings of Power with Sauron. Now, Sauron has lost the One Ring. Um, Celebrimbor and Talion plan to reforge a new ring and Celebrimbor puts his power into that ring really in the same way that Sauron did into the into the one ring um, but then in the moment of the forging of the ring Celebrimbor is snatched away by something mysterious that we'll we'll learn about later um, and it's really in the beginning the goal to get those three things back together of Celebrimbor and the new ring and Talion and then to take the fight to Sauron. We've seen this or that we saw today the evolution of the nemesis system can you just give a quick rundown of the additions to that because it was awesome in Shadow of Mordor. Uh, yeah we've tried to expand it in every way firstly to the enemies we want the enemies to be more powerful more varied more personal than ever before so they have things like you know, new classes and tribes and Olog High and new abilities and dozens of um, just so many new things, new attacks. Then we also want to take the Nemesis system and that idea of orcs remembering and building a story and a history and extend that to your followers as well. So as you're building uh, your army and then new sorts of stories, maybe they'll betray you, maybe they'll save you at a key moment, maybe you can infiltrate them into uh, enemy ranks. And then we also wanted to take the idea of personalizing the content and extend that not just to the characters but also to the world itself so to the fortresses and to the environment and the ambient life you'll meet in the open world talking about the epic scale the world map is huge in comparison to shadow model which was two areas what's it been like creating something like that and are we able to still explore that whole world on foot slash caragor back is that still a possibility uh, you can explore the world on foot, on Caragor, Caragor back, on dragon wings, you know, you can uh, fly around. So um, each of the regions is really significantly larger than either of the two we had in Shadow of Mordor and so much more detailed and more varied in terms of the different ecosystems and environments. Um, then, of course, we've got like a new city. So we've just expanded it in every way. The game does look huge. The difference between Shadow of Mordor and this is crazy. Is there a difference in working on is the scale? or something that is quite daunting or exciting for you? Those two, yeah. It's daunting and it's exciting. Um, and it, it, it sort of brings all of its own challenges as well because now you've got all of this detail, all of these different systems that have to interlock and talk to each other and then um, sort of just building it as well. And then just the, simply the, test, the challenge of testing it just of debugging it and polishing it is just so vast. So um, if you've only got a week, you know, getting someone to do a playthrough or just even complete the game once becomes really challenging. Thank you for talking to us. It's really amazing meeting you and good luck Thank with the launch. Much. And for much more on Shadow of War, we get closer to launch. Subscribe to Game YouTube.